Hello everyone, Brittany Sewell here. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about fruit juice. So I've been working on my sugar-free academy all morning at Starbucks and just got back home with my son. And I'm excited to share just a little bit about fruit juice with you and why I choose not to drink fruit juice and why even for my son I choose not to use fruit juice. So I know a lot of times, especially in the food industry, they advertise and market fruit juice for kids. And so it's like, you know, the kid thing, the apple juice, the orange juice, whatever. And so it's really sad because it's actually not good for you. And you should not be drinking fruit juice and giving it to your kids because, um, sorry, my son is also playing. And so the reason why you should be not drinking fruit juice is because it has a lot of fructose or sugar from fruit in it. So even though, yes, like an, we'll take an orange for example. An orange has fructose in it, but it also contains fiber. But whenever you juice an orange and you take it down to orange juice, hello, then you are losing the fiber that's in it. Plus, a glass of orange juice can be several oranges in one. And so your body can take in, because there's no fiber, you don't have the chewing process happening like you would if you're eating a whole piece of fruit, you, you're able to drink more, which means you could be drinking the amount of fructose that would be in multiple oranges. And so when that happens, just a little education here for you. So when you eat a piece of fruit, fruit you're chewing it, it takes more time to chew, to swallow. It tells your brain that you're full quicker and you have fiber, which whenever the fructose or the sugar from the fruit is sent to your liver, then it processes slowly because it has that fiber there to process it. And it's a good thing for the liver to be able to take its time processing it. You're right. But whenever you drink the fruit juice, there's no fiber in it because whenever it's been juiced, it eliminates the fiber. It also eliminates a lot of the vitamins that are in fruit. So really, you may think, well, fruit juice is still good because there's vitamins and stuff. But no, that's not the case. A lot of it is eliminated whenever it's juiced. And so when um, you drink the juice, it goes straight to the liver and it has no fiber. So the liver is overloaded with fructose. And that can lead to insulin resistance, which can lead to all sorts of things. And the overload of the fructose can turn into fat quicker and things like that. So you really just want to steer clear of juices because really they aren't good. Actually, if you look at um, apple juice in comparison to soda, the sugar intake is the about the same. So the sugar intake um, would be really close. I think it's like for the same amount of apple juice compared to cola, it's like one gram of sugar off and so you're telling so what I'm telling you is that you are feeding your kids basically you if you're giving them apple juice on a daily basis then you are giving them all the sugar so you might as well just be giving them a coke so anyway so that's why your option should be to eat more of whole fruits versus fruit juice for yourself for your kids and because it's better it has more nutrients more fiber and your body will only take in so much in comparison to juice when you can go down several glasses of orange juice or apple juice which means you're taking in all that fruit all that natural sugar which is not good for you so that's a place where natural sugar actually isn't good and can hurt you so with coconut juice it's different probably from coconut juice to coconut like if you're talking about like coconut water it's not nearly as bad because you're not actually juicing the fruit the f water is in the coconut but I'm not actually sure, I, I don't drink a lot of coconut water, so I don't even know a lot of the sugar content in coconut water, so I'd have to look on that. But I do know that coconut water would be better than juicing, like the actual fatty part of the coconut. You might as well just eat that, the same thing, because it has the fibers and the nutrients in the actual fruit in comparison to juicing it where you lose that. And so, I mean, really, I know someone said something about vegetable juice. Vegetable juice is probably pretty good, but you still have to be careful, even like, if you're doing it at home, it's different, but in compared to store-bought, because sometimes people will be putting, they'll put all these additives, and you don't think they've added the stuff, but they do. Because whenever you juice it, sometimes they'll lose flavor, they'll oxygenate it, they'll lose flavor, and then they'll have to add extra flavor to it, and it's not even real. So juicing at home is good with vegetables, but still you're also good. Don't buy that at the stores, because it's not good. A lot of times there's all sorts of added stuff, way too much sugar in it, just not good. And, um, but even with veggies, it's still better to eat the veggies because there's more fiber and goodness in the actual vegetable. But if you're struggling with 
eating vegetables. Like I know I used to not eat vegetables, and so juicing them was a go-to for me. Try that, and then slowly get yourself to be able to eat vegetables because I know whenever you're picky or it's harder, then it's hard to eat them. But anyways, I hope that helps. I hope that's useful. If you've been feeding your kids or giving your kids juices, just think about trying not to. Give them something different. Give them water. They're young. You're the parent. You get to choose what you give them. So exposure equals preference. Make the choice for your kids. You can do it and get them preferring water over juices. So have a great day. Hope this is helpful.